Hello Spirit Squad, this is Pixie from Pixie Moons. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are a returning member of the Spirit Squad, if you are not a member of the Spirit Squad, what are you waiting for? Join us, click the subscribe button, make sure you ring the bell so you get notified every time there's an upload because there are frequent uploads on this channel. We also have communities on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. So all the links are down below if you would like to join us or just have a gander. It will be much appreciated. Guys, today I'm coming at you with a short and sweet and concise reading the next 72 hours. As usual, remember, nothing is set in stone. Energy is always flowing. I am not telling you things that you don't already know even intuitively, or especially intuitively. The readings are timeless, so whenever you catch it is when you were meant to watch it. I think that's it for the PSA. I'm gonna drop a thumbnail right here. So you can pause the video and choose one or more pals if you wish. You can listen to all the pals if you want to. There's always a message. And um, without further ado, let's get into it. Power one, if you chose the power with this sigil on top, this is Scorpio. So you guys might be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart, but you don't have to. Because I believe this is also my pile and I don't have any um, Scorpio in my chart. So three cards, one for each day. Easy. Let's start with... Um, ah the scythe number 11 I feel like some of us are cutting people off for others this is giving me like a three of sword vibes uh, it's also giving me an ace of swords vibe so take it as it resonates but yeah different scenarios for different people some of you are kind of like sitting in their power and you decide to get rid of people or situations or places that are no longer aligning with your vibration, that are no longer bringing you any sort of like joy or um, just not elevating you in any way, kind of like the opposite effect. Um, for some of you, so actually this is all tied, now that I think of it. Um, some of these things might bring you down, like make you feel like heartbroken, and that's why you're deciding to cut them off. And yeah, sitting in your power, doing that is gonna bring you clarity. It's gonna, you know, like when you do a spring cleaning, uh, somehow, Cleaning your room or like cleaning your house makes your mind feel a lot more organized and calmer. That's kind of the vibe. So it's like big decisions. And this is number 11, like I just said. So yeah, 11, number two, one plus one, or um, could also be that you are, you have been seeing 11, 11, frequently and this is why you're making this decision you're aligning with something second day we have number six with the frog okay this is cool the frog talks to me about wisdom this experience that you had has brought you like a different perspective and the fact that you have been kind of in this three of swords kind of uh, energy. It has also brought you yeah, like a, a different take on things and you feel kind of wiser now. This is also transformation to me. Quite obviously with all the, that's happened um, leading up to this, and luck as well, luck, 
and prosperity. I was going to say prosperity. So for some of you, you're getting a bag from somewhere. Or you are very, very lucky on that day. And you also get some money like a scratch card or something like that. Or like a random... What do they call that? Like... Um, you know, like when they pull a number. And it's kind of like a lodo. That's what I'm seeing. It's like... You enter and you, um, you don't even think you're going to win anything but just for fun. And then you end up winning a prize, like at random. That's for a few of you. On the last day, you have, whoa, 48. What is that talking about with the bag, you guys? Prosperity. A lot of healing as well. For others, this is literally like tending to your garden. Like... You guys are um, outside, you're either hiking, or you're having a picnic, or you're doing some outdoorsy activities. But yeah, it's gonna be like a very rich, like those three days, kind of like getting rid of things that were no longer aligned, transforming and feeling the abundance within. You guys, this is, oh, this is pretty lit. So let me know what you think, let me know if it resonates, drop a comment, drop a like if it does. I'd like to take the time to thank you guys, my guys in spirit for this beautiful message. And I will see you again very soon, but in the meantime, remember, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Power number two, squirrel, if you chose the power with the, the circle inside a circle. This is actually the planetary symbol for the sun. So you guys might be Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus. You don't have to be because Leo's are ruled by the sun. But yeah, let's, um, or like you just like circles. <laughs> Like circles and rings have like a special um, meaning to you. But let's have a look at your cards. Three cards, three days. Boom, boom, boom. We have the star... I was going to say starfish, you guys. What? Star fruit. The star fruit with number five. So the star, you're going to be the star of the show. Definitely, if you're a Leo, <laughs> this is your pile. You're going to receive a lot of attention. Uh, maybe more so than usual because of the five, which uh, indicates change. For some of you, okay, I feel um, it's like maturation. Something is coming to maturation. Guys, that hopefully is going to mean something for someone. <laughs> but I'm saying that because you see this fruit is kind of like green, still green over here, but it's kind of getting um, riper. So it might be a project that you're working on or a relationship, but something is kind of like aging like fine wine or coming to completion or like wrapping up something let's have a look day number two you guys <laughs> you have 14 which is also a five one plus four you guys might have been seeing like five 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 quite often this laundry to me talks about obviously like cleaning like clean slate of everything for some of you it might be completely literal like cleaning your space your room or your house could be your workspace for some of you because of the blue here that's connected to like the throat chakra. I'm feeling 
this has to do with communication. So you might be clearing the air with someone, getting something off of your chest that you had been wanting to for a while. And this could go one of two ways, and I think you know that, but it's like it's time to address this issue. But I feel like for most of you, it's going to be well received. So it's either you want to communicate something to somebody or someone wants to um, reach out to you and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about something. The last card, the last day, we have 21. Okay, I was like, are we gonna have another number five? <laughs> I was low-key like freaking out. With this uh, last devil energy, you guys might be dealing with the Capricorn. <laughs> or you guys might be a Capricorn watching with like Leo rising or Leo moon. You don't have to, but I'm just throwing it out there. Or likewise, like Leo, Capricorn moon or Capricorn rising. It's kind of, you're stepping into like this powerful, confident energy. So whatever has happened the day before, like this discussion that you had, it has made you reconsider some things and it has kind of like opened the door to this feeling um, to the being in your sovereignty, if that makes sense. So what, whatever happens with that, you're going to feel much more confident. For some of you, this is about stepping away from something that was keeping you, that was pulling you back. It was keeping you kind of like gagged and chained. So it might have been that you were watching too much um, YouTube videos, like too many YouTube videos, or you deciding to change something in your diet, or anything like the first thing that came to mind is gonna be that. Or drinking too much coffee. This is tea, by the way. I know it's a coffee cup, but this is tea. Yeah, you guys are stepping away from something to kind of step closer to yourself. That makes sense. So, part number two, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know. Drop a comment, drop a like if it does. I would like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides, and spirit for this powerful message. And I will see you again very soon. You already know, but in the meantime, remember you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Bye. Part number three, last but not least, if you chose the part with this trident, you might be a Pisces. You might um, you might have Neptune. This is the sigil for Neptune, very prominent in your chart. So you might be a Pisces or a water sign. Don't have to. I'm just throwing it out there. So. Score. A lot of people have been asking me, actually nobody has, Th this is green tea. <laughs> three cards, three days. Let's get into it. We have the horse with number 22. Wow, cool. So many things. 22, I'm feeling balanced despite a decision. So you guys are going to make a decision or you recently made a decision and you're feeling much more grounded, much more balanced. You're feeling freer because to me horses talk about freedom, spiritual freedom, emotional freedom. You guys might have um, made changes in your work routine something to do with work or okay you could also be going somewhere like for a couple of days as well kind of like to recharge the batteries 
For others, this is like a change of scenery. So you might be moving into a new place. That's, that makes you feel a lot freer. That's aligned with what you were looking for in a house. But yeah, it's kind of like this feeling of taking it easy and being certain of oneself. And yet yeah, travel. I feel like a lot of you might be traveling, in fact, like a short trip, but you guys are going somewhere to kind of like feel rejuvenated. Next, we have 16 with the dandelions. Dude, there's definitely something outdoorsy going on. <laughs> camping. Some of you are camping. Others are like literally tending to your garden. I feel there are similarities with this pile and pile number one. So if you were hesitating in between those two piles, um, yeah, check pile number one. <laughs> and if you were pile number one and you were hesitating, somebody tell pile number one that they can also check this one, <laughs> please. Yeah, planting seeds, definitely. I'm also seeing a lot of happiness and lightheartedness. You guys might have a Leo in your chart as well because of the dandelion. Don't have to be, but the kind of feeling, that playful feeling that I'm getting, because Leos are also very playful. So yeah, it feels like a holiday for you guys, like those three days. What's going on for number three? And okay, last day we have number six with the bag. That's literally the name of the bag. So some of you quite literally might run into some money, but I'm being attracted to this place can't quite read what it is. It is a place of interest for tourism. Dude, I really want to like, oh, dude, I'm getting the Alamo. So that's for very few of you. If you guys are going to Texas, I believe. Yeah, the Alamo is in Texas, right? So maybe some of you are going there or like somewhere um, if you're in the US or if you're visiting the US, this is very specific. The West Southern states, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, um, very specific, yeah, like um, literally at the border with Mexico, basically. So some of you might be like visiting friends or just visiting, but it's like you're going around visiting tourist attractions and buying stuff. You know, like buying souvenirs and clothes and stuff like that. Okay, I don't know how many people are actually going to do that. If you are indeed relocating somewhere that it's like kind of you, kind of feeling like a tourist, kind of feel like you're on a holiday, uh, walking down the street and just like visiting Main Street, like when you first arrive somewhere, uh, even if it's to live in like the first few weeks, you feel like you're yeah, just visiting or like on holiday and it's a really nice feeling. I'm also sensing balance. So whichever decision you made, like on the first day or right before those three days, it has brought you like a lot of harmony, peace, inner peace. This I'm also, I'm also getting like a six of pentacles vibes. And it's this idea of having enough to be able to give generously. I just noticed, like, I was talking about southwestern states and uh, I have a cactus on my ear. So, Arizona, maybe? Or somewhere else? 
But yeah, let me know, guys. I'm curious like, what's going on. Uh, yeah, being able to give generously, being able to buy or like to support small businesses, things of that nature, even like helping friends move out or like pay their first month of rent. That's very specific. Again, uh, that might be for just a couple of you. Pound number three, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know, as I said, drop a comment, drop a like if it does. I would like to take the time to thank your guys, my guys, and spirit for this beautiful message. I will see you again very soon, no doubt. Uh, but in the meantime, remember that you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Believe it. Bye.